The Promoting Tolerance program was inaugurated in 1992 by the American Jewish Committee and the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom. The program focuses on young liberal politicians and liberal-minded representatives of civil societies from Central, East and Southeast Europe, South Caucasus and Central Asia. The annual program consists of three parts. A preparatory online seminar, the international seminar in Europe, and a 10-day study trip to the United States. The goals of the program are promoting a climate of tolerance, pluralism, respect, and the appreciation of diversity, improving the rights of minorities and creating an atmosphere of mutual acceptance, exchanging best practice experiences, encouraging cross-border cooperation, establishing and strengthening contacts between the program's participants and alumni, promoting tolerance through the strengthening of civil society. By the end of 2012, more than 275 participants from 28 countries will have participated in the program. All the countries of Central, East and Southeast Europe, South Caucasus and Central Asia are countries in transition and in transformation. It is very important for institutions like the Friedrich Naumann Foundation and the American Jewish Committee to reach out to these countries and establish a framework of joint cooperation. Uh, promoting Tolerance program organized by Friedrich Naumann Stiftung and the American Jewish Committee uh, was basically part of my political education. I have to be honest, I believe myself to be very tolerant. I believe that my actions and beliefs were tolerant enough. But with this program I came to understand that the border between tolerance and ignorance is way too thin. This program, uh, I was well over 40 and I felt it as a very important to learn how the life uh, in democratic societies goes. Uh, previously, before program, I was uh, uh, strongly thinking that uh, all that we are doing is correct and sometimes when you are discussing with somebody your ideas and ideas of uh, other people may be not so important and not so correct as your. And my participation in this program shows me that um, you have to stop in your ideas and to be honest to think what other people are talking. At the end of the day, it's not only important to know what is good or wrong, but to uh, influence the public opinions, opinion by simple stories, by touching stories. And that's a very important concepts that I took from America. Uh, it always is uh, very impressive and important to be equipped with the uh, knowledge and experiences of others that can be used, easily applicable, or just having reliable partners elsewhere in the world uh, that are there always, anytime. Uh, that uh, beauty of diversity of views and the tolerance in a way to reach conclusions that uh, benefit the greater good for the society was one of the best experiences I had, and I thank you very much. I think all the participants have had extremely pleasant um, experiences with the program, especially also with the study trip to the United States. There's a lot of information that all the um, uh, participants get to know. There's a lot of contacts um, uh, with different institutions. Um, it's an enormous benefit on personal and also on professional um, respects um, that the participants gather. And working in this region, but also growing up in this region, I realized that there is a lot of prejudice regarding uh, United States and uh, basically a system of United States. And for me, this was really important learning experience to see uh, how this actually looked like and how this system functioned. And all of a sudden we saw different parts and different communities and this really uh, 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 is broadening uh, uh, perception and views and, and picture of America. Uh, I think that the main purpose of 
this program is its mission and its very successful mission. Uh, I, 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 I would like to congratulate the organizers of this program with a great success. Here in Bulgaria, more than a half a century after the end of the war, the society still cannot find the courage and objectivity to tell not only the noble parts of the history about saving the Bulgarian Jews, but also the dark parts about the anti-Jewish legislation and the deportation of the Jews from Thrace and Macedonia. A model how uh, differences of the past and how history can be put behind. However, history cannot be forgotten and that's it is very important for the leadership and for the people to look to the future. Obviously that we kind of made up our minds already many years ago. But this is about more, it's more about those who are learning now, who are making their choices now. This is where we need to be part of it, part of those choices uh, to save this world uh, from the tragedies in the future. I think there is no doubt um, that we can only wish this program to have at least another 20 years of successful um, activities.